So, okay, what we discussed yesterday. So, we will go for the data warehousing. What is meant by data warehousing we discussed yesterday. So, data warehouse is a the relational database. It is designed for the analysis purpose. Okay. And also we are going to maintaining the history on the data warehousing. Okay. And data warehousing is a decision making system. Based on the analysis, we are going to they are going to take a decision their business. Okay. So this data warehousing, they have the different kind of characteristics are there for the data warehousing. That will be one is a subject oriented. Okay. Subject oriented, integrated. Okay, non volatile, okay, and time variant. These are the different characteristics for the data version or properties of the data version. Okay, so what is meant by subject oriented means the subject oriented means they have to categorizing the data into in a single format. Whatever the data is there, all the data. So, they are going to categorizing the data in functional way, in the functional area wise. For example, sales is a one subject. So, all the sales data they are going to categorize into one system, means one table or vendor inventory is there, stock is there, stock is going to convert to HR information, employee information, okay, buyer information, vendor information, brands information. So, like that, each categorizing the data, whatever the data is there. That should be in the subject manner. Means it is in the it is they are going to keep in the one single tables. The each table information in the separate separate tables. Okay, that is a subject oriented. Then we can able to understand the easily we can able to understand the data, and then we can able to tell the what are the questions they are going to they want. Then we can able to build the reports by using the subject oriented. Okay, and then integrated means so it's a it's also kind of the subject oriented only, but we are whatever the data we are getting from the multiple sources. I explained yesterday homogeneous and heterogeneous sources, right? So disparate sources, all the data they are going to integrate into one system in the consistent format. Okay, that is nothing but the integration. Okay, so non volatile. So non volatile means volatile means is keep on changing. Non volatile means we can't able to change the data. Once the data entered into the data warehousing, we can't able to change the data. We this are read only data. Okay, whatever the data entered into the data warehousing, that is only read only data. We can't do any manipulations. Okay, next time variant. So whatever the data is ingested into the data warehousing, we can able to analyze the with different time wizards. Okay, we, we can able to analyze the different time wizards what is meant by that time wizards so it could be the ytd qtd mtd std w2d or this year last year or last year to previous year this week to last week last week to last year last week so like the with the different time wizards we can able to analyze the data what was the data ingested that data we can able to analyze in different time wizards so these four characteristics should be satisfied for the any data warehousing project. If you not satisfy any one of the property, then we can't call it as a that is a study data warehousing. But also one more question I ask: What is the data flow? What is the architecture of the data warehousing? Okay, so you have to explain that one. So they will ask: Can you explain your project flow, project data flow? <laughs> project architecture so this kind of question they are going to ask in the interview okay so you have to say the we have the multiple source systems okay multiple source system that is a heterogeneous source systems so what is meant by heterogeneous source system guys what is meant by heterogeneous source system heterogeneous source system means uh, it's multiple formats of uh, data yes comes from sources, yeah. So what are like the uh, Oracle? Yeah, correct, correct. Card files, yeah. So whatever data we are getting from the multiple 
multiple uh, sources with different format multiple sources with different format okay each source is a in different kind of format so that kind of sources we call as a heterogeneous sources okay so these heterogeneous source systems we are extracting and then loading into the data warehousing by using the etl tool by using the etl tool that is the flow of the data warehousing okay so here so these are the heterogeneous sources or it could be homogeneous both it could be anything it's not a mandatory it will be heterogeneous either it could be homogeneous or heterogeneous source systems these all the source systems they are going to extract and then they are going to ingest it into the data warehousing by using the etl tool okay so on top of the on top of the etl data warehousing they are going to generate the reports by using the bi tools they are going to generate the tools by using the they are going to generate the reports by using the bi tools okay guys so this is the entire thing we called as a data warehousing clear any doubts here guys this is the data warehousing architecture the entire data warehousing architecture means this one so this is the data warehousing so so etl tool will be a back end validation tool and the bi is a front end validation tool so the end users is going to access the this reports whoever the clients are there those people accessing these reports so they don't know they doesn't know what we did in the back end validation but in the data warehousing the heart will be etl here all the transformation logics they are going to build in the etl etl side okay based on the requirement the client requirement the all the logics is going to implement in the through etl only and then they ingested the data into data warehousing whatever the data ingested here based on this data they are going to generate the reports okay but the heart will be etl part is a heart for data warehousing clear guys any doubts up to now this is up to previous class we discussed this one okay so and also the data also we discussed yesterday we as per in terms of the data warehousing the data is categorizing into two ways one is the operational data not organization data guys operational data or transactional data okay operational data this is the correction and or transactional data both are same transactional data okay and then analytical data okay so these two types of data they are categorizing into data warehousing so this transactional data means we are going to discuss now okay what is analytical data what is a transactional data so oltp we call it as a oltp oltp versus olap this is question is going to ask in the intro point of view what is the difference what is mean by oltp versus olap okay oltp is nothing but the online transactional processing okay oltp is nothing but the online transactional processing olap is nothing but the online analytical processing okay so what is first we'll go for the oltp so oltp is nothing but whatever the transactions happen on day to day it is going to keep on updating this data okay is going to keep on updating on the data and the oltp system but here in the oltp it is going to uh, store the data historical data with the best example take employee table guys take any employee table so employee table what is the data employee number employee name salary department so these four columns are there guys in the employee table so emp underscore source okay 
this is my table is a emp underscore source thus that is nothing but the here emp underscore source okay here how it will be their data means 101 employee raw salary will be 1000 department will be 10th department okay so like that i have the one employee is there 101 ram 1000 10th department okay so so these data we are going to extract and then loading into the target database Oh. <laughs>